think uh, I think you guys are going to go to lunch in a second, but there's something really cool we're going to do for just a couple minutes before. So uh, raise your hand if you've, if you've actually ever met Jason Kincaid or know his writing. Jason joined TechCrunch in 2008, and he was uh, referred in from a current TechCrunch employee and came to my house, and we didn't really have time to interview or anything. He was fresh out of college, too. So we said, let's try you out for 30 days, and works out, you can stay. And he ended up staying until, uh, well, until after I was fired. And so he was one of the core guys, and a good friend, and a really funny and good writer. So Jason has written a book, and it's just being launched today. If you go to TechCrunch, uh, you'll see my review, and it's about blogging and PR. And it's called the uh, Burned Out Blogger's Guide to PR, and it's hilarious. If you're a startup founder, you need this book. It'll help you dealing with the press. If you're a technology blogger, you're going to laugh all the way through it, and just, it's very, very funny. If you're a PR person, you probably don't want to read it. Uh, Jason's going to give a quick presentation here. You can buy it, uh, uh, there's a link on TechCrunch, and you can buy it uh, now. The printed, it's a Kindle version now, the hard copy is out, or the printed copy is out in a couple weeks. So uh, here's Jason Kincaid. Thank you. Thank you to Mike for that very kind presentation. Uh, it also means we can skip a few of these early uh, slides where I was trying to tell you who I am. And I know you're hungry for lunch. So that was me dressed as an Android phone and MG Siegler dressed as an iPhone and wrote 3,000 posts and keep going. All right, here we go. Some t horn tooty quotes. Mike just established my credibility pretty well. I don't enjoy this any more than you do, but uh, I feel like I've got to do it. So the first quote. He has a rare ability to write thought pieces that shape Silicon Valley culture and thinking. A very nice thing for, for Mike to have said. Uh, Alexia Sotsis, the, the co-editor of TechCrunch, has said, Kincaid taught me the importance of constant vigilance and how nothing matters more than getting a story right. Also very nice. And uh, Sam Biddle, the co-editor of ValleyWag, who I have not yet had the pleasure to work with, says that I have the authority of a Tony Robbins seminar, uh, which is arguably the nicest thing he's ever written. So, uh, so I'll take it. Uh, so I, I had a good run at TechCrunch, uh, but about... Two years ago, something happened. I burned the F out. And uh, all you bloggers in the audience, you have my sympathy because I know what it's like to crank out blog posts day in and day out and no one even remembers them an hour later. I don't even remember writing the vast majority of my blog posts, which is sort of depressing. So I've gotten out of the blogging game for a while, but I've had this idea for a book kind of lodged in my head for a really long time now. And I, I had to get it out for two reasons. The first reason, Revenge. So I want to make something really clear. There are some good PR people out there who are absolutely worth your money. And then there are a lot of thoroughly mediocre PR people who are nice enough and probably not worth your money. And then there are the masses of bad PR people. People who are constantly inundating reporters with bad pitches and brown nosing and lies and scheming and really just kind of driving them slowly insane. And I thought to myself, what if I could write a book that makes some of them unnecessary? What if I could help spur them toward a career path that doesn't involve driving reporters insane, which is probably going to be more fulfilling anyway? So that's the first reason I wrote the book. Wrote the, book. the second reason, it's a little nicer and this is really why I finished it, is that I know how much folks in the startup community have to sacrifice. And it's always bothered me how often you guys shoot yourselves in the foot with relatively easy PR mistakes. You'll do things like you'll tweet about your news and break your own embargo. Now that sentence doesn't mean anything to 99% of the population, but to reporters, that's one of the dumber things you can do. And so I thought, oh, right. So I'm a burned out blogger, and uh, I wrote a guide to PR, and, uh, and I didn't really get too creative with the title. It's called The Burned Out Blogger's Guide to PR. Uh, and in it, you're gonna find stuff like, next slide, how to pitch, embargoes, journalism lingo like on background and off the record, which as it happens, no one even knows what those really mean. It depends who you're talking to, and I get into that in the book. Angles, sources, competitors, all in the hopes that you can either run your own PR yourself, or at least you can identify someone who will who do a good job helping you do that. Uh, and in the process of writing this book, I talked to some of the smartest PR people I know, and, and Probably more important, I did some really deep introspective thinking as to what compelled me to write those posts that I wrote those years ago in the hopes that it will help give you a framework for how to approach reporters in the future. Uh, so if this sounds up your alley, and I, I really hope it does, you can head to burnoutpr.com 
Uh, or you can head to the TechCrunch post where you'll also find uh, information on it. But at burn up, burnoutpr.com, uh, you'll find excerpts, uh, some details, my email address if you have any questions. Uh, and again, uh, it's available on the Kindle today, and it'll be available in print uh, in the next couple of weeks. So I really hope you guys like it because I, I ultimately wrote it for you folks, uh, so I hope it helps. So thank you all very much, and uh, enjoy lunch.